Hello everyone, and welcome back to the series where I talk about some trivia on the Japanese culture or language and some nuances that were lost in the translation from the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of an anime. In this case, for the third episode of Onimai. The Japanese title of the episode, Mahiro to Michito no Sog, was translated into Mahiro's Close Encounter and could be more literally translated into Mahiro in an encounter with an unknown, but like the translated one is alluding to, it is most likely a reference to the infamous 1977 alien movie from Steven Spielberg, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and the official Japanese title being Michito no Sogu, exactly like in this episode's title. When Mahiro is wondering why lunch hasn't been made yet, and that Mirali doesn't live up to the title of Onnei-chan, the Japanese expression used was Kazakami ni mo okenai to convey the meaning of a disgrace to a whole group of people. Its literal sense is to not even be able to put it upwind, and comes from the sense that if something that smells bad is put upwind, it is spread and is hard to endure. So it'd be a disgrace to put someone in the upwind spot of the own chan that doesn't live up to it. In the scene where Mahiro is thinking about what would happen if Kaede finds out that he's a guy, the pervert translation comes from a term that you can see on a lot of signs in Japan, especially in train stations, Chikan, which is usually referring to a molester or the act of groping. A small interesting fact is that it comes from foolish and man, but over time the meaning changed to talk about a man doing indecent things to a woman. From the little research that I did, people think that the shift in the meaning started to spread in the 50s and 60s and could be traced back to writers of that era, such as Nakano Shigeralu, Miura Shulman, and Oe Kenzaburo. Probably a bunch of people already know this one, but when Mahiro is confronted by the lively atmosphere that burns his soul, Mihari responds with Chunibyo. It's hard to put into words, but this is an expression to talk about someone who is overly dramatic, says things that are out of the real world, and that seems like lines from a fantasy novel. The expression comes directly from something like an illness often associated to teenagers, around the second year of middle school. Small thing, but Kaede described herself as a JK, which was translated into high schooler. This abbreviation comes from Joshikose, a female high school student. Younger people might not have really been around that term when it was really popular, so I thought I might as well talk a bit about how Mahilo described Kaede as a Gyalu. This term comes from the Japanese pronunciation of gal, and in the same way is talking about young girls. But in Japanese culture, it became a lot more associated to a certain fashion style and a lifestyle that is very high energy. The next part are very small nuances in the translation for those interested. Outside my comfort zone was niga omoi, having a lot on your shoulders. Creep was Nozokima, peeping Tom, or in a more literal sense, peeping obsessed person. High school change you was Koko debut, high school debut, in the sense of someone reinventing themselves when entering high school. And for a bit of perspective, the swimsuit was about a hundred US dollars. That's all I had for this episode. And you know what to do if you want me to continue the series. And if you like that type of deals, you could go check out one of the other anime that I covered.